you have a black hanger, which means I haven't worn you once. But is it because I forgot about you or because I don't like you? Hey guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys are old, hello. Welcome freaking back. So in today's video, we are going to be cleaning out my closet. She is a mess. She is a monster and I get super anxious every single time I go inside of my closet because not only is she messy, there are just so many items in my closet that I feel like I don't have any clothes. It makes no sense. Do you ever feel like you have too many clothes that you don't have any clothes? Because if you don't relate to that feeling, then I don't know how to explain it to you. But I have so much clothes, it feels like I can never find what I actually want. So I end up wearing the same exact clothes for days and days straight. I think I've only worn the same three tops and three bottoms for the last 30 days and I have to force myself to change for photos and videos. But other than that, if I'm not filming or doing anything that day, I am wearing the same three tops. So it's been over a year since I have cleaned out my closet or gotten rid of anything inside of my closet. And I feel like today is the day we're gonna get rid of a bunch of stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Woo, let's go. All right, you guys ready to see this closet? I made sure not to clean it or do anything to it so you guys can see the full glory of this beautiful closet. You ready for this? I don't think you guys are ready for this. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot how bad it looked. Holy cow, and I just walked in it this morning. Hoo-wee. This is my closet. Um, So this is considered like a mini walk-in closet because you can walk in it, but it's definitely not like a real walk-in closet. So this is the mess of my closet. As you guys can see, it is not clean at all. It's kind of all over the place. I feel like minimalists have it so easy because they know that they only have 20 pieces and they know all the combinations they can make with those items. I just have 20 pants and I'm like, okay, which pants do I wear today? Do I wear my pregnancy pants when I eat too much? Do I wear my skinny jeans? Do I wear my mom jeans? Do I wear my boyfriend jeans? There's so many choices. And when you have too many choices, it actually makes your life harder. So I just have too many choices in my closet. So right now, my goal is to get rid of at least 30% of my clothes. Here are all the clothes that I have. So these are all my t-shirts and long sleeves. Then I have all of my dresses and rompers here. Then I have my sweaters. Then I have all of my heavy duty jackets. Then I have a bunch of drawers. This one cannot close because I went through it yesterday. Then I have pants in here, jeans in here, bandeau tops. Then in here are my underwear. I actually haven't bought new underwear for myself in years. And that is another goal of mine is to like get new underwear. I literally have underwear that I've worn since high school. Let me know if anyone else has 10 year old underwear because I do. And those are like my period underwears. They're amazing. Then I have this pile of clothes, which are things that are on Poshmark right now. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I have it on Poshmark. Then more Poshmark stuff. And then I have my long dresses and gowns. And then I have more clothes here and more clothes there. Also, if you guys look at my closet, you'll see that I have two colored hangers. I have these black hangers right here and these cream colored hangers. So I started putting clothes that I was actually wearing on these cream hangers, which means for the last five or six Six months I haven't worn any of these items that are on the black hangers so basically I want all of my clothes to be on these cream hangers because it means I actually wear them and anything not on that means I need to get rid of or rethink keeping so I think the first step we have to do is probably just dump everything I own onto my bed. If you guys have never heard of the Marie Kondo method, Marie Kondo suggests that you literally dump everything that you own just to see how much you have. Matt is gonna hate me because that means we're probably not gonna be able to sleep on this bed tonight, but he's gonna thank me in the end when there's space in the closet. I just took a 10 minute break because I'm already overwhelmed and I haven't done anything yet. Okay, now we're gonna take everything out of my closet and put it on my bed. Not looking forward to this. <sighs> ah, so many black hangers are in my dress section and it's so hard for me to get rid of my dresses. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. Wow, I'm tired already and out of breath. almost as tall as me, that is crazy. Jesus, oh my God. Why did I get so much stuff? Uh, oh, I'm getting a headache already thinking about this. Yeah, okay. 
Gotta keep going. I was not kidding when I said this was gonna be an extreme closet clean out. I was originally going to be putting all of the clothes that were in my drawers as well, except as you guys can clearly see, there is no space on this bed for anything. All right, so here is the pile that we currently have on my queen bed. This is a hill. I'm actually mortified at the amount of clothes that are in my closet. That is crazy. All right. Game plan. So I'm gonna have four different piles. One is my laundry pile, AKA things I wanna keep but are really dirty. Second is my keep pile. Third is my donate pile. Fourth is my sell pile. So let's get started. Okay, these first two dresses that I'm sitting next to are from For Love and Lemons. I spent so much money on these. Thought I was gonna work to Coachella last year, never did. I don't know, like, will I ever wear this? It's so pretty that I wanna keep it. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm also gonna keep this guy too. This is another For Love and Lemons dress. So beautiful, except I just never have an opportunity to wear it, but we're gonna we're gonna make it happen maybe during self-isolation. Um, Matt and I will have a date night and this is the dress I'm gonna show up in. Oh my God, I love this guy. I love jumpsuits like this. I'm 5'2 and they make me look so tall. Keeping that, pajamas that I never wore, gonna sell that. Donate, yeah, donate. Overalls, keep, love me some good overalls. Wow, I have worn this like a million times. I'm gonna keep. Oh, definitely keep you. Anytime it's summertime, this baby gets worn at least like 25 times. Keeping you. Oh my God, so many memories in this onesie. But I have to get rid of you, I never wear you. Donate, keep. So Matt got me this robe. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep this only because I have an emotional attachment to it because it's one of the first things he ever got me. So I'm keeping you. I don't want to get rid of you, but no chance in hell will I ever wear you again. So here is another dress that I'm gonna donate. This girl was $300 or something crazy like that. I forgot how expensive she was. Donate. Ooh, uh, a kimono. <gasps> oh, this is cute. I didn't even know I had this in my closet. Definitely keep. I feel like I'm shopping my closet right now because I'm like discovering things I haven't seen in a really long time. Oh my God, it's so soft. Another jumpsuit. Another one. Sell you. All right, I'm gonna fast forward this part. I don't know how interested you guys are in this part. That's what we're gonna do. Keep, keep, yes. Keep, sell, keep, sell, sell. Never freaking warn you. Sell, sell. Keep, keep. Never cold enough to wear you. Why do I have you? Sell, keep, keep. This girl supporting girl's hoodie. I have to keep it. Keep, keep. You have a black hanger, which means I haven't worn you once. But is it because I forgot about you or because I don't like you? You're cute though. You're so cute. Keep. Okay, I'm keeping you. Keeping you. Asian Girl Squad sweater. I'm gonna keep you. Instagram sweater I never wore. So, live and dress sweater. Keep. Definitely keep. Laundry. Keeping you. Keep. Okay, I bought this for myself for Christmas. Have it one at once. Where is your tag, girl? You were $160. Holy cow, and I haven't worn you once. Oh my God, this sweater. I have so many good memories in this sweater. I've worn this sweater like 80 million times. Keeping you. I'll keep you. Sell you. Keep. Really cute. Keep. Sell. Sell. This is so cute. Why haven't I worn this guy yet? Keeping you. Oh my God, this is cute. Keep. Laundry, keep, keep, so cute, keep, so keep, oh 100% keep, my only black dress that I own, keep, 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 I'm gonna keep it, sell, this is such a nice dress, so I'm gonna sell you, I'm gonna keep you, oh definitely keep you, oh she is dirty, keep, keep, sell, Yay, 
I just organized everything. Holy freaking cow, that was so much stuff. But I just wanted to show you guys the piles I just made. So here is my keep pile. She is nice, she is tall. She's way bigger than I would really want it to be. But guys, I'm also really proud of my donate slash sell pile. I have a bunch of stuff in here. And then I have a little laundry pile that Zoe is literally laying in because she likes to lay in dirty clothes, you little dirty girl. So this is all the stuff that I am gonna be donating slash selling. So I'm gonna take off all the hangers on these and then count how many items are in here. Hopefully all the stuff will go to a home that will really love it and use it. So if you guys haven't already, follow me on Depop and Poshmark because that's probably where I'll be putting a bunch of these items on. So I just folded up everything that I'm selling slash donating. I have 55 items I am selling slash donating, which I'm pretty proud of because that means there's 55 extra spots I can use in my closet now. Although the point is to not be doing that. So right now the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch all of these hangers to my creamy hangers that I have. I just think the beige color is a lot prettier than the black ones. I'm a little dead right now, but I wanted to show you guys what I have accomplished so far. It's like 7.30 p.m. It is so late right now. So I have organized everything into piles of types of clothes. So these are my thick puppy jackets. These are my lighter jackets. These are my heavy jackets. These are my denim jackets. Then I have all my dresses over here. So I'm gonna put all of these clothes back on the hangers. much free space. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my progress so far. I put all of the clothes that were on my hangers inside of this room. It looks so good now, although there is still a giant mess everywhere else. So this first little area right here, I have all of my dresses. And then over here, I have all of my short sleeve tops, my off the shoulder tops. Then it goes to t-shirts. And then in this little corner, I put all the things that I have on Poshmark. I figured I should just have one bigger section for it. And then up here is all of my jackets and coats. So everything that I know I won't be wearing for the spring or summer, I have back there. So all of my really heavy coats are back here. And it goes to my denim jackets that I wear a lot and then other jackets that I wear quite often. A still a mess everywhere else. And then over here I have all of my sweaters that are like the nicer sweaters that are definitely more fashionable. And then over here I have sweaters that are more cozy, stay at home, do nothing, lounge on the couch, eat fast food, and be lazy. So these are all of my lazy sweaters. And then in this section I have all of my long pieces. All of my jumpsuits, maxi or midi dresses are over here as well. My super thick long coats are over here too. All right guys, so that is it with today's video. I counted out everything that I actually got rid of today. I got rid of 65 pieces, which is amazing because I also counted out every single thing I'm keeping and I'm keeping 131 items, which is crazy because as you guys remember from the beginning, my goal was to get rid of a one third of my entire closet. Who would have known that manifesting happens instantly because in total I had 196 pieces and 65 divided by 196 means that I am donating 33% of my entire closet which was my goal Woo! guys that is insane so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video this is just part one of me cleaning up slash decluttering slash getting rid of my closets make sure you guys go stay tuned for part two honestly cleaning my room is so much fun for me especially during isolation so I hope you guys are enjoying my self-isolation series if you guys want to see my other hoarding slash cleaning videos I'll link them down below for you guys but yeah if you guys made it to the end of the video I want to know so comment down below what color your eyes are. Mine is definitely a poopy brown. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.